I'd like you to take out your notes and construct a KWL chart. Um, and you can turn to a partner and try to answer these two questions. In the K column, what do you already know about World War I before 1917? And what do you already know about the U.S. decision to enter the war in 1917? Um, and that first, especially the first question, that should be reviewed from the last couple of lessons. So go ahead. You can skim through your notes. And they didn't want to fight alongside the English yeah. against the Germans. <laughs> but I don't know if that was before 1917 or after. Right. <laughs> Weren't there a lot of treaties that got triggered in Paris because of the assassination? And so, like, this country entered the war, which meant this country had entered the war, which triggered this country to defend that country. Like, there was a whole, like, line of treaty. <laughs> things that it was like dominoes and then it was like everyone right. is okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, can I have a couple of volunteers share out um, what do you guys know about World War One before 1917 and what do you know about the U.S. decision to enter the war? If there are no volunteers, I'll just call on people. <laughs> yeah. Um, it started when the Archduke was, was killed. Yeah. The bombs. <coughs> okay. How about Cassie and Ellen? I heard some good stuff in you guys. Oh, um, we weren't totally sure on the dates, um, but that there were, like, treaties, um, that the assassination, like, triggered a lot of treaties, um, for different countries had pledged to defend other countries, and it was kind of like a domino effect um, for a lot of the countries in the the war. Okay. And who can tell me something about U.S. foreign policy before 1917? Do you know how we felt about the war at that point? I think one of the things I know is that it depended on, like, I don't know necessarily of the foreign policy for the whole United States, but a lot of the different immigrant groups had different opinions um, because of like where their families were back in their home countries and who they wanted to fight with and against. Okay. All right. Does anyone know um, how Woodrow Wilson, the president, specifically felt about it? Anyone? Any ideas? Yeah. Well, it wasn't our war. It's Europe's war, so we don't want to be involved. Um, not our war. Yeah. We really did not want to be involved again. All right. Okay, so our learning target for today is I will infer two major causes of U.S. involvement in World War I. Um, can you guys, does anybody have any idea what infer means? Can you give a definition for that? Yeah. An educated guess based on the clues that are given. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's a lot like what I have. I said to deduce or conclude based on evidence and reasoning. Okay, so I brought some evidence with me today. This is a reading from a book called The Zimmerman Telegram by Barbara Tuckman. Um, I'm, while I pass this out, I want you guys to turn back and talk to your neighbors, and you guys can fill in the W column about what do you wonder or want to know about the decision to enter the war, and what do you wonder or want to know about the Zimmerman telegram? You guys can go ahead and do that. I'll pass this out. Um, if the president said that it wasn't our war, what happened to change his mind? Right. Or um, how long it was going on before right. we entered. Uh, 
I mean, I guess the, 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 the Zimmerman telegram, I guess I don't even do you know what that is. It's not familiar. I can't remember. But I guess we'll find out. Yeah. It's Bob Zimmerman? Yeah, it's, it's Bob Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Interesting, considering recent events. Yeah, I mean, I know Mexico is like Right, yeah. the war lords. Or the drug lords. Drug lords. But they have their own. That's true. That's true. Yeah. 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 Okay, so um, this reading, you guys can choose to do it either out loud as partners, or you can do it on your own. Um, we have limited time, so try to get to the star that I put on the page. I think it's page seven. Um, so go ahead. You guys can start and focus on um, evidence that you can draw about the U.S. decision to enter the war. you guys come across something that relates to that question in the L column, you can go ahead and fill that in in your chart, and we'll come back together and talk about it as a class.
aren't there yet, you can go ahead and skip ahead to the actual text of the telegram that's on page 6 in italics, and make sure you read that part before we finish up. Okay, hey, can I have a couple of volunteers share with me what were some things that you guys put in your W column? <coughs> Did you have any questions about the Zimmerman telegram or why the U.S. decided to enter the war? Anything you were curious about or wondered about? Anyone else? Yeah. Um, where Zimmerman came from, why it was named like that. Okay. All right, anyone else? Good, all right, let's move on to our L column. Who can tell me something that they learned from the reading? Sorry, I tried to read it up there. Oh. The That's okay, which one? Uh, just that Mexico won and regained, or Germany was going to let Mexico regain Texas and Arizona and New Mexico. Okay. I did. Okay. Anyone else? What did you guys put in your L column? Did you guys find out who Zimmerman was? Yeah, who's that? Secretary. What were some of the main points that you guys pulled out of that telegram? Apart from Mexico regaining territory, yeah. That they were going to engage warfare with submarines. Because we, in our previous lessons, we talked a lot about the German submarine warfare. Um, President Wilson, he had this idea that submarines needed to, like, rise up out of the water and, like, give notice that they were going to attack before, the, they, before they attacked. Um, and Germany went along with that for a little while, basically just to keep the U.S. neutral. But then they, um, they were going to revert to unrestricted submarine warfare, which meant staying under the water attacking in secret, which is like the whole point of submarines, right? Um, but they were not going to do that until they had enough submarines to really take down um, all of the Allies' defenses. And they were really counting on the U.S. staying neutral during that time. So they couldn't deal with our coming into the war and helping out the Allies. Anything else that you guys learned and put in your L column? Yeah. They were worried about Japan um, not being an ally. Okay. Changing your mind. Okay. Let's see size. Nice. I think time is up. <laughs>